Hello. Today I'm going to try to do a mini podcast of sorts, and I thought it'd be fun to show off some cosplay costumes I do. And I have a new one, and I thought that'd be fun to try to put on and take some pictures and do a little podcast about it. It's a uh, Hoth Leia from the Empire Strikes Back, and so here we go. I have to say I'm a little bit nervous about wearing all white. I've never done that, but that's what she wears. Now, see, got a whole pile of white. I got most of that actually from Goodwill, but the vest actually came from Kohl's, which is actually also where I got the uh, Civil War Wanda jacket, the one she wears in the beginning, and Legos. Who knew that look Kohl's would be so good for cosplay pieces? I sure didn't know, but uh, I have found some pretty, pretty good stuff there. So far, so good. I don't know if it really looks like Leia much yet, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, next step is to braid my hair. Uh, I do have really long hair, as you can see, but it's also very thin, so it doesn't really work to crisscross. So what I'm going to do is start braids, like, really high up, and then do it. That's what I used to do all the time when I was, like, 15, 16 years old, where in, like, the Heidi braids, I thought it was really cool. It, I don't think it really was, but I thought it was, so good enough, I guess. Uh, so, let's see how that goes include a little tutorial about how to braid the Leia braids. Let's see if it's set backward a little bit so my head's not cut off. Um, I've never done a hair tutorial before, but I watch a lot of them on YouTube. A lot of them. Uh, where I learned I've actually been braiding wrong for about 25 years. So, that's pretty interesting. But if you do want a really good braid tutorial, I would check out Kaylee Melissa. I really like Kaylee Melissa, and the reason I do is because she, um, here we go. She braids on herself. And a lot of tutorials, they use dummies or they use someone else. And I'm like, but that doesn't teach me how to hold my hands. That teach me how to braid my own hair. And so I don't like that. But so I thought we would do it today. I've seen a few Leia ones. Uh, this is going to be a rather simple hairstyle, I think. It's not too difficult. Um, I'm not going to do like the crown braid, which is actually what I think she wears. But fun fact, Carrie Fisher actually wears a wig. So, yes. So just divide your hair. I'm going to try to divide it um, straight. I guess I should probably be looking at the camera, not the mirror. So, yeah. I'm just going to try to divide it down the middle best I can. I don't have any special tools or whatever. I have a hairbrush. And it's kind of for a couple years. I don't even know where it came from. Probably Walmart. And then, I, so I divide it. The top there is not perfect. It doesn't really have to be. Um, I mean, you can if you're like a perfectionist, but I'm not, so. Then I kind of reach in the back and divide it in half. Drop the mirror. Let me get it. Okay. Um, just some mirror here. I think this one actually came from the Dollar Tree. It's pretty handy. It's double-sided, so you can use it in a couple different ways. And then I like to check and make sure it's all divided in the back there. I don't know if you can really see it. I don't think the mirror will let me do that. But, so, it's pretty decent there. So, what I'm going to do is because my hair, when I braid it below the ear and then cross it over, it looks really kind of thin and stupid. So, what I'm going to do is just tie off one end so it's not, you know, in the way. Yeah. And then I'm going to just brush that one. That's half. Or maybe you should take off the vest. <laughs> the collar's kind of getting my way. I'm going to brush it up. Yeah. I'm going to brush it up. Now, I don't think this is actually how Leia does her hair because, I don't know, I've really kind of watched Empire Trek Trek a lot. I don't think how she does her hair. But then I'm going to start the braid, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Half the lights just came back on. It's an older house. The lights kind of sometimes work, sometimes they don't. So, I'm going to start it kind of up here, and I'm just going to do a regular braid. Try not to lose any strands if you can. Now, I have learned, thank you Kaylee Melissa, that I actually do a Dutch braid when I do my braids. I braid backward. For years, I always wondered why my braids didn't look like everybody else's, and that'd be why. But, um... I will link some decent braiding tick, uh, videos for y'all because I've never actually taught anybody to braid. So I don't think it's wise I start here 
But yeah, I'm just doing a basic braid here. Um, I guess I am aware I'm doing it backward. I've been told that. Um, but it should work. And I'm also aware my hair is kind of reddish. But it's usually reddish. It's actually brown, but I've been dyeing it a bit. I decided not to dye it this past week. I usually do it every once a month, every two months. Um, because I want it to be as brown as possible for Leah. And let's see. Oh, that's kind of messy. But... Yeah, that'll work a lot better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You can kind of see it there. I don't know what that looks like. I can't really see the mirror. <laughs> see it? But, um, so you need some rubber bands here. I don't use fancy rubber bands. These might have come from the dollar store. Or they might have come, actually, from the grocery store where I work. We had a bunch of clearances. I don't know. We were going to do a renovation. And now we're not because of the pandemic, I guess. I don't know. They don't tell me these things. I just show up for work. <laughs> so I can get paid. So I can do cosplay. And make crazy little videos like this one. Okay. I'm going to repeat it over here. Just going to do the same thing. Oh, of course, that side turned out better. It always does. I don't know why. I'm really fast at reading. I know, it's kind of awkward here. My hair is, like, really long, so I haven't had a cut in over a year. And now I can't get it cut. I don't even know what I want to do with it anyway. I never do. That's why I don't usually... I know most tutorials would tell you to use, like, little clear elastics. And they're not wrong. I guess I thought about it. I think I actually have to wear them. Oh, I do. I forgot. I actually bought them to be, um, stitch markers. And they work pretty well for that. Ah, I do. Okay. I guess I should probably use those instead of the big bulky ones. Okay. That probably would work better. Easier to hide than the big bulky ones. I mean, you look at the difference. <laughs> so, alright. I look kind of funky. Oh, I guess I should have uh, matched them as well. I draw, and there's six colors there, and of course I had to pick two not matching ones. Jeez. Okay, so it'll be easier to hide these. It'd be easier if I had picked, like, the red, I guess. Probably would have gone better with the hair. But, and then, you're going to need some bobby pins. Now, these are from Con Air. I'm pretty sure I got them at the grocery store. Um, but you can also get them at Dollar Tree, Dollar Stores, Walmart, Target, whatever. I don't think you really need to spend a lot of money on them. I think these are probably 2 or $3 because these are like the color match ones. Because at the time my hair was brunette. So they're not really going to match. But whatever. Whatever. That's okay. So I'm just going to draw out a bunch of them. You shouldn't need like a lot of them. But it's been my experience. I only need more than it says. But I guess there's no rules. I don't know. But then you just take one. Really is a messy braid on that side. Guess we're gonna need some hairspray. Which we have. Uh, that's just some swab, you know. Typical grocery store, Walmart, Target, wherever. Probably even sell them the gas station, I don't know. Um so you just kind of crisscross them over. Yay. It does look a little funky. Let's go there. So let's see. Yay. Right. I'm going to. Okay. I can never remember. It's a. Which side's supposed to go on? Close to the head. The bumpy side or the smooth side? I can never remember. I think it's supposed to be the um, bumpy side? I don't know. I did actually watch a whole YouTube video about it once. Do you think I remembered? Yeah. Uh, pretty sure the Kaylee Melissa video. 
I got most get most of my hair tips from Kaylee Melissa and Lady Marie. I like Lady Marie too. She's pretty cool. Now the trick here, at least for me, because my braids are rather thin because I don't have really thick hair. And I know a lot of um, hair people will tell you like to pancake them, but I find when I do that, they lose their structure. The braids lose their structure. I guess probably means I'm not doing it right, but I don't really understand how to do it either. So I am going to just, I put about three in this braid, I think, three. And then I got the little bit sticking out there, but we'll tuck that in later. I guess. Yeah, we're kind of tucking it underneath there. Yeah, there we go, like that. I don't know if you can really see. I guess I could try to adjust it there. That better? I don't know. So, now we need another one. Three. Let's see, I put three in the last one. So let's see. This one I'm gonna put one in the base. It's got this like little bump. And I don't want there to be a little bump. I don't know if that really worked. But I think Shars, if you actually look at the Empire Strike Back, she actually is wearing like one long braid across her hair and then there's like two little buns in the back. But um, she does wear the crisscross braids at one point during the Hoth scenes, which is what I'm dressed for in the very hot out costume. It's hot. <laughs> I love the movie. I love the costume. I've always wanted to do it. Well, not always, since I got into cosplay, I guess, which is about it. A year or two ago. Because, yeah. But, let's just face it. Hoth is not Florida. Okay, and now I'm stuck with this little doohickey. So I'm just gonna tuck it around. And I mean, it doesn't have to look perfect. Not for this, anyway. If we're going to a con, I'd be a little more concerned, but I'm just gonna be. There's a piece of hair sticking out. <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't really want hair sticking out, even if I'm going all I'm gonna do is stay home. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sit at home tonight. Today, it's so early ish. It's according to my watch, 11:24. So it's not really early, but. Especially since I've been up for a while. Lordy, every time I stick a pin in, I keep finding more little bumps in the back. <laughs> okay. Ow. This is going to hurt to pull them all out. Alright. So I don't think it's like perfect or anything. Let's see. But it looks pretty nice. Especially for just sitting at home. I rented a movie. I'm going to watch Little Women. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to take my glasses off, though, because hairspray and glasses do not really mix. I'm going to look in the mirror now and kind of spray the heck out of it, which is bad, but I think I'm allergic to hairspray. Whenever I use a lot of it, I notice my hair does not like it. Hey, my glasses are really dirty. Yeah, I'm going to find the eyeglass cleaner. It's somewhere in here. Oy. Okay, so it's a little messy, but you know, we're running for our lives on the, we're running an empire. I'm not running the empire, we're trying to ruin the empire. So I think, you know, it turned out pretty nice. Seems a little bit messy. Yeah, so. Hey, there's a piece of hair sticking out there. I'm gonna have to get a pin. I just saw that. I don't like hair just sticking out. I'm not a real big fan of the messy bun styles. Yeah, get in there. There you go. Alright, again, not perfect. But for what I'm doing today, it's fine. If I was going to a con, I think I'd be a little more concerned about it being more perfect. And in fact, I, if I were going to a con, I might actually just got to get a hair extension or a wig like most people do. I've never done that, but I know a lot of people who do, especially if they're cosplaying people with really long hair like like Leia. So, let's see. So that's the Leia hairstyle there. Turned out pretty cute. I may have wear it to work one these days. Everyone will go, what are you doing again? Because I'm like the weird one who wears geek jewelry and geek hairstyles. But we wear a uniform. We have to have fun somehow. So, thanks. And I'm going to try to take some more 
pictures or videos of the Leia cosplay so you can see the whole thing. Because all you've really seen is the shirt and the uh, vest. So I don't have the boots, but that's okay. I haven't really done much about it yet. I just got them the other day. Oh, oh I see that piece. Yeah. Okay. It does not want to go in. Oh, well. That's all right. Thanks. Cosplay. I know we don't ever really see, like, what kind of clothes she wears other than, you know, the costume. I mean, like, little things like socks. But I got these. Where did I get them? I think I got them on Amazon. And I've always thought of them as Leia socks. They're my favorite. And they actually got lost once in the wash. I only had one. I was really sad for a while. But now I have both. So I'm going to be wearing those because it seems just right to be wearing the Rebels on my socks as well. It's my whole outfit. Here are like my all-purpose boots. I've worn them for pretty much every cosplay I've ever done. Leia, Rey, uh, Wanda. They are pretty all-purpose here. I also have a brown pair. I wear those a lot too with the same things. Uh, I think I got these at Kohl's a few years ago. But they're just, you know, the typical uh, motorcycle boots. They're very trendy, I guess. Um, easy to find anywhere you want. You know, if you don't want Kohl's, Walmart, Target, whatever. So, that's what I'm going to wear today. I know they're not screen accurate. I think she actually wears white boots. But I do not have a pair of white boots. I do have a pair of silver boots. So, I guess I could wear those. Um, but I don't think they'll work well these pants. Um, because they're high up. And they're cowboy boots. I just don't really see Leia as a cowboy boot kind of person. <laughs> but I do think these boots will work fine for today. I think if I were going to a con, I might try a little bit to see if I can get a pair of white boots. I think she wears white boots in the movie. But again, it's just for fun. So, have fun. Actually coming out into my kitchen. Don't bring it had enough light. Or I could really show off the outfit. I know it's not screen accurate or anything, but I'm kind of having fun with it. I'm also dying of heat stroke because Florida is not hot. <laughs> but I think it looks pretty cute. You could even wear it out and... People who are not even know, would not know your cosplay. So, yeah, I got the vest from Kohl's. It was on clearance. The shirt is actually from Goodwill. I'm not sure the company. The pants, you kind of see the pants, right? Kind of. They're not by them forward. Yeah, they're just regular white jeans from Gloria Vanderbilt. I get most of my jeans from there. I like them. I usually get those at Belks or Bell's Outlet. But I got these at Goodwill. So... I know she does not wear jeans. She actually wears like a like puffer vest type material. But um, in a pinch, it'll work, especially for today. It looks pretty good, I think. I like it. I like it. If it weren't so hot, I'd probably wear it today. But I got other cosplays to do today. I have to do my past the brush video. I don't know how I'm doing a Leia one. I should suggest that. But yeah. So, turned out pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. And remember, please subscribe, like, comment. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you.